Today we're here to talk about project and portfolio intelligence and how you can use it to leverage your information assets through HP PPM to make better business decisions. To truly appreciate the value of PPI, you need to see it in action. Let's quickly run through an example and show you how the tool supports PMO's decision-making process. Let's say that you're a member of your company's PMO. PPI will help you understand your current situation at a glance from a web browser. To access, just log in, and you will be presented with a customized welcome page that shows just a summary information that is relevant to you and the business. This intro presents current status by project, by financial, and by resource perspectives, but you may have access to multiple reports. Click on the project link and select the project management dashboard. The report shows you critical performance information and will help you to quickly identify possible issues. For example, here you see significant risk rating for a project. To get more detail, all you need to do is click on that project. Once you access the details of that project, you can see the overview of the header information on top and the financial information at the bottom. When you navigate to the Issues and Risks tab, you immediately see the defined risk on that project causing the high risk rating. Navigating back to the General tab, you are able to see the health status of your project as well as budget, scheduled, and actual effort details. To access more details, you can pinpoint the red icon near the Schedule Health. Notice the charts we used here, a combination of pie charts. You can pick whatever graphic style you prefer. Visual items you see in reports like pie charts, bar charts, and grids are preloaded for each area of functionality and can be simply customized by the business user. The report shows you critical performance information and will help you to quickly identify possible issues. For example, here you see red health status for the cost and schedule. By accessing more detail, you can pinpoint the responsible project manager. In our example, it's Joseph Banks. Further analysis is easily done by quickly generating a report for project manager, showing all the projects that he manages. You can easily scroll through the report and identify the root cause. As seen here, you can see that for many of the projects, the health status was red. If you need to keep project managers up to date with their project status, you have the option to generate a PDF and send the file periodically to all of the project managers. For the next part of the demo, we are going to spend some time and discuss a little bit about the ad hoc analysis. Ad hoc analysis is supported using best-in-class business intelligence tools, Cognos, and business objects, since these are the tools that most enterprises are most familiar with. You can generate your own ad hoc analysis. The program performance ad hoc analysis is just one example. Let's see how it's been set up. Just open the model on the left-hand side of the screen and navigate through folders. You can easily click on Program Management Module and open the program's query subject. You will find columns of program tables. Drag and drop the program on the work area. Collapse the program main folder and go to the Project Management folder. Expand the projects. Drag and drop the project name next to the program. Scroll down to the Project Health folder and drop the Project Health next to the Project Names column. Scroll again to access Financial Summary module. Open Financial Summaries to drag and drop the total forecast and total actual values. Finally, scroll down to the Workload module and open the Workload to select Timesheet Actual Effort and Staff Profiles Forecast Effort to the report. As you see, all the modules are related to each other, so any information can be used across the modules.
You can also add charts and calculations to your ad hoc reports. For adding a chart to your report, just pinpoint to the chart icon. Let's find out in which projects plans are behind the actuals. Select Forecast and Actual Effort by pressing the Control key on your keyboard and click on the Calculate button. Simply select Forecast minus Actual Effort and click on the Finish button. You are not only able to produce hundreds of reports and do detail analysis, but you are also benefiting from the customization integration by default. Collapse all the folders, go back to the demand management, and open the demand parameters. You will access the header parameters, detail parameters, and user data columns. Within those folders, you will find the captions of those fields, and you will be able to find easily how the parameter fields named for each request type. In this short demonstration, you have seen how Project and Portfolio Intelligence supports your decision-making process helping you to continuously monitor the state of the business, analyze issues, and evaluate the effectiveness of your decisions, all from a convenient web browser.